G'day, just a uh, quick show and tell on uh, something that's finished off in the workshop here. Um, this beast, which used to be a, a large beer carbonation tank, um, is an essential oil distiller I've made for a client. Uh, it's had a skirt put around the bottom uh, down here, so it kind of hides it from being a carbonation tank. They have a, like a curved domed top, same as top, top and bottom, same as up here. Under, underneath here, but uh, it's got a skirt wrapped around there because it's um, kind of a, a gas uh, burner underneath it to, to power the thing. Uh, so there's a um, in the base here. There's a five mil thick, six mil thick uh, stainless steel plate that's welded into the into the base of that to uh, take the heat from the burner and help dissipate the heat a bit better. Basically, this thing has a, a ring around the centre here, or part way up here. Uh, and there's baskets that get popped into the top of here and then the, the bottom is filled up with water and then it's, the water's turned into steam it percolates up through these, these um, baskets and all the botanicals, um, oil and stuff essence is taken out of that comes up the top here, through your line arm down through your condenser and out your product takeoff tube uh, it's all made in stainless because the particular uh, essential oil that the, um, this company are going to extract uh, will react with copper and Jesus making something that size in copper is just going to be cost prohibitive um, I'll climb up this ladder so you can see it from the top up here uh, we've got lifting points here, here and here because this whole thing detaches with these, these little locking toggles around the outside and this whole head lifts off with a, a gantry so the, um, the whole thing comes away with the condenser attached so um, it just ba basically lifts off here and there's this handrail, the off offset handrail around the outside because this thing will be hot, well be like a you guys know how, how hot the a kettle gets to touch uh, when you're distilling your alcohol, this thing will be it's got steam blow blowing through it so it's going to be hot as hell um, that handle will, will, will still get hot you'll be able to touch it and, and move the thing around it may even need a glove but it's still going to be you're going to be able to pull that thing around when it's uh, on a gantry uh, it's got a, a little strut in here with a um, locking saddle on there and the lifting point on top of the saddle um, that's just to take the weight of the condenser because it's um, going to be fairly heavy by the time that, that uh, condenser sits fill up with water. Then we've got the condenser down here. Uh, it's a 4 inch diameter jacket. Uh, it's about oh, 1200 or something long. Um, it's got seven uh, approximately 3 quarter inch stainless steel tubes running down the centre of it. There's, there's one of the baffles. So it's a 4 inch diameter baffle and then these, these seven tubes down the centre. Um, which should be a ton of uh, cooling power to take take the stuff, the vapour from this down to a uh, liquid and it comes down here, we've got a 4 inch to, to 3 quarter inch thereabouts reducer and the outlet tube there um, yeah, <laughs> it's a bit of a beast I'm overriding the urge to uh, fill it for a rum wash and, and, and let it rip but uh, yeah <laughs> Um, oh, it's got a, a gate out the back there to empty it out, um, and it has these uh, two large baskets uh, that go with it as well. Now, if these guys um, fit in one at a time um, into into the uh, centre of the uh, kettle, they slot down with a, a couple of an inch or so either side. Um, they've got lifting points on them, so they can be hauled out in and out on a gantry. Uh, and a nice thick perforated perforated uh, stainless steel the hoops, the, the perforated mesh, everything's st uh, all stainless uh, so they go down the centre of it, uh, loaded up with botanicals and then um, there's two of them so that one of them can be getting emptied and loaded, reloaded while the other one's inside the kettle uh, getting boiled up uh, so there's those two to go with it as well uh, yeah, that's that's a bit of a beast.
it's a, a huge beast of a thing. Uh, as I said, the, the kettle's made out of a carbonation tank, so I'm all, all about recycling materials. Making a tank like that from scratch is just crazy money, um, crazy money all by itself. But yeah, that's uh, what I've been. Some of the stuff I've been up to. Um, I'm making more and more commercial stuff for people nowadays, as well as um, small kegels, stills, and, and bits and pieces that I've uh, got on the YouTube channel here. Um, uh, fortunately, it's, <laughs> it's necessary evil. Uh, it's taken me away from actually getting the distilling stuff up and running. Um, you be careful what you ask for, kind of, I guess. But uh, I'll come back and show you some of the more of the uh, commercial stuff I'm doing, um, if, you know, as, as and when my, my clients um, uh, consent to that. Uh, one of the one of the things I've got coming up is a, um, a, a very very large reflux condenser, about a, a foot diameter. Um, uh, it's an absolute beast of a thing for a uh, large copper still. That's all built out of copper and brass to. Um, to match the existing still, uh, but yeah, we'll come back and, and do some of that stuff um, as and when the permits. See you guys. <laughs>